All right. All right. Amen. God had promised Abraham something. God had promised Noah something. God had promised David something. God had promised Job something. But they believed. Yeah. And it was counted to them for righteousness. Amen. We have to believe what God has promised us and wait on it. Look forward to it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Go to Matthew.
Look at verse 8 through 10. Let's see, can I put this out? What verse? 8 through 10. Abraham believed God. So he obeyed God. God told him to leave his home. He wanted him to go to another country. Abraham did not know where he was going, but God promised to give the other country to Abraham. All right. He, he obeyed God and he started traveling. Abraham believed God. So he went to live in, the, in that foreign country. He lived in the country that God had promised to him. He lived there in tents like a stranger. Isaac and Jacob lived there in tents too. God made God had made the same promise to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Abraham was waiting to live in, his, in the city that will always be there. He was completely sure that he would live in God's city. Amen. What's your Hebrew? That's where he is. Oh. <laughs> God, <laughs> God made the plan for, the, for that city, and God built it. Amen. You may be seated. Amen. Amen. The title of the sermon today is, Where, where is the Promise? Oh, that was uh, easy English. Oh, boy. Yeah, because it was totally easy. Yeah. It's all after the fact. What version was you in? <laughs> I was in that. No, just what version oh, was you I was in? in King James. Oh, earlier? Oh, uh, the extended, uh, the EXB? That's all we could have found. That's y'all in my time, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's in the <laughs> Okay. No, the right. extended version. Easy. Expanded. Easy English. Amen. Come on. Amen. Let's deal with it. So you understand? Here we go. Amen. All right. Urged on by faith, Abraham was uh, was enabled when he was called by God to go out to a place of of inheritance. In spite of the fact that he did not know where he was going, being an immigrant in the land promised, but he was waiting expectantly and confidently, looking for the heavenly city. We too must all we too must welcome from the heart looking to the end result of waiting on God's promise. Amen. All right. Amen. We're talking about where is the promise? Abraham was waiting on the promise of God. Right. He was looking, looking towards, looking forward to the promise of God. And I looked at that looking forward. It's in the uh, King James, looking forward in that verse, in verse 10. It said, to take or receive, to await, expect, welcome from the heart. Looking right. to the end result of the waiting. Looking to the end result of the waiting. Looking for the promise that God has promised us. Amen? All right. Amen. So, we talk about where is the promise? We don't see it, but we're waiting for it. Yes, we sir. expect it with a willingly heart. So, looking for the promise. Waiting for the promise. All right. Where is the promise? Where is your promise? Come on. Are you waiting for your promise? Yes, sir. <coughs> Do you know you have a promise? All right. Okay. Go to Hebrews uh, 11. Hebrews 11, verse 7. We just want to look at a prophet. All right. Noah believed God. And he, so he, he obeyed God. God told Noah about bad things that would happen. Nobody could yet see those events. But Noah believed God. So Noah was careful to obey what God had told him. But he built a large boat to save his family. All right. As a result, Noah showed that everyone else in the world was wrong. And Noah became one of those people that God accepted. All right. But are right with God because he believed him. Mm. Even though Noah could see it, 
God told him it, it, it was coming, uh, destruction was coming. All to right. him. Yeah. And he just believed what God had told him. Even though he didn't see the destruction coming. Yeah. Even though he didn't see the rain. He had never seen rain before. All right. But he believed God. He was waiting on God. All right. He was looking forward to what God had promised him. So he started to build the boat that All God right. had told him to build. Go to uh, uh, chapter 10, look at verses 13, uh, 12 and 13. All right. This priest Jesus offered one, <coughs> one sacrifice for wrong things. All right. For all time. Then he sat down on God's right hand. Since that time, he waits for God to make an end to his enemies. God will make Christ's enemies like a place for him to rest his feet. Jesus is waiting on something. He's waiting on the promise that his father has promised him. All right. To make everything his wisdom. He's waiting, but he's sitting on the right hand of the father. So if Jesus is waiting on the promise of the, of the father, we should be waiting on the promise from the father. All right. Amen. Amen. We should be waiting on the promise. Jesus is waiting on the promise that the, his enemies will be made his footstool. All right. Amen. Yes, sir. All right, go to Ezekiel 14. My God. Go to Ezekiel 14. Look at verse 14. I would only say men like Noah, Daniel, and Job, if they lived there. Wow. They would save themselves because they did good things, saying, the Lord your king. Now what did these, I'm going to read, go to, jump down to uh, 20. Verse 20. I am, I am surely alive, says the Lord, your king. And what I say is true. All right. Even if Noah, Daniel, and Job live there, they could not save their sons or daughters. Mm. They would save only themselves because they had done good things. My God. So read this you think, because they were doing good, that's why this is why God saved them. Because they went through some things. Job went through some things. We see, we read what Job went through. We know Job's story. Mm -hmm. We know what he went through. Uh -huh. Losing his, losing all this material stuff. Yep. All losing right. his kids. Yeah. But Job didn't move. Right. He was waiting on the promise of God. Noah, what he went through, he didn't move. Daniel, being brought into captivity. All right. Didn't move. What did, so what do all these guys have in common? He said righteousness. So they developed their own righteousness? No. Do you think? Mm. Go to Romans 4. Come on. Go to Romans 4. <laughs> <laughs> Romans 4, 13. Abraham followed this character too. He said... God promised to Abraham and to okay, all right. God promised to Abraham and to all his children and grandchildren that he, that the world would be theirs. God did not promise that because Abraham obeyed rules. Instead, God promised it because Abraham believed him. And so God accepted Abraham. God had promised Abraham something. God had promised Noah something. God had promised Daniel something. God had promised Job something. But they believed. Yeah. And it was counted to them for righteousness. Amen. We have to believe what God has promised us and wait on it. Look forward to it. Amen? Amen. Go to Matthew 22. Matthew 22. All right. Look at verse 41. We started at 41. All right. While the Pharisees were together with Jesus, uh -huh. he asked them, what do you think about the Christ? 
All right. The special person that God will send to you, to us. Whose son is he? The Pharisee replied, He will be from the family of King David. All right. Jesus asked him, Can you explain this to, to me then? God's Holy Spirit told David that the special person from God was called Lord David said, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou, sit at the important place at my right side. Remain there until I beat your enemies down All right. to the ground. I will put them down like a place to rest your feet. Mm -hmm. So Jesus said, we know that David calls this special person Lord. Mm -hmm. So how can he put be a man from the family of King David? Nobody could answer. And the question that Jesus asked after this, everyone was afraid to ask Jesus any more questions. <laughs> God was showing God. David. God showed David Jesus. Mm -hmm. And he believed in God's word. All right. He had to believe in the promise of God. Amen. Yes. David knew that a Messiah would come, a Christ was coming. And he believed that. That's why he could call, he could call Jesus Lord. Because he seen God showed him in a vision, showed him who Jesus was. That's why he could say what he said. And he believed that. So we have to believe in the promise of God. We have to look forward to the promise of God. Alright. And wait. You no, know, expecting God to fulfill his promise in our life. Amen. Amen. Isaiah 30. Isaiah 30. Yes, sir. Look at verse 18. All so, right. So the Lord will wait for, for the time to be kind to you. So also, one day, he will start to show his great love for you. It is because the Lord is fair. He is a fair God. Thank God. He will make everyone who waits for him very happy. Blessed. Mm -hmm. If we wait on God, yes, sir. wait on his promises, mm -hmm. we will be blessed. Yeah. Blessed. Yeah. We'll be blessed. We'll just wait on him. Just wait on God. Amen. Uh, Hebrews 11, 13 through 16. This is the last scripture. All right. Hebrews 11. Glory to God. Thirteen. Mm. Mm. All this we just read. These up to these. <laughs> all right. He said, "All these people continue to believe God until they die, yes, even sir. though they didn't see the promise." But they held on to the promises of God. He said, but they did not receive all the things that God had promised to them. All right. They understood that those things would come out of a long time. Mm. They were like people who saw those things far away. All things, people agreed that they were only strangers, travelers on the earth. All right. And, and people who say things like that are certainly looking for a country of their own. They are looking for a country where they will be at home. All right. None of these people continue to think about the country that they had left. If they had thought about it, they might have had a chance to return there. Instead, they were wanting very much to go to a better country. My God. In heaven. And, and for this reason, God is not ashamed to be called their God. All right. He has prepared a city for them. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. So the question is, what are you looking for? Mm. All right. Mm. I want that city. What are we looking for? What are we looking for? 
promise of God. The promise of God. Knowing the promise of God is what keeps us. All right. Waiting. Through faith. Our faith it, it keeps us in waiting. Believing God. But he said, some didn't receive the promise. All right. All the promises. But they died in faith. They died in faith. God said, you're not going to go unrewarded. So, what are you looking for? Where is the promise? Where is the promise? And sometimes the enemy, he would throw it in your face like, God ain't doing that for you. God ain't blessing you. He promised you this, he promised you that. Where is it? Wait on. Wait on the promise of God. Yes, Amen. Sir. Amen. Amen. Amen.